following workout is a uh, workout routine that I put together for sort of a preseason max strength phase for an elite level lacrosse player. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Keep those elbows up, coming down to thighs parallel, driving up with a strong torso. Down to thighs parallel, driving up. Make sure you go a little bit lighter on that one than you normally would with a back squat. Um, it does require a little more stabilization in the back for some people, but it's a great exercise. So just start a little bit light. Make sure you're getting your good range of motion, maintaining your good back position, and then brace a little bit with your abdominals as you're driving back up. This is a reverse lunge off the BOSU with the flat side up. Uh, again, we want to generate some good power as you're returning to the starting phase, given that this is a preseason workout. Um, also, go, go fairly heavy, but not so heavy that that step up movement is slow and labored. You still want there to be a nice pop. So you'll step on just by stepping single leg in the middle of the BOSU. Don't worry if there's a little wiggle, that's pretty common. You'll come down with some control, but then drive up hard and balance just for a second. Control, drive up off that front leg. So make sure you're getting good power and pop as you drive up. This next exercise is the dumbbell crossover step up. And we might often think of a crossover step up as being here, getting the other side of the hip, which is fine, you can do it that way for sure. But um, for this one, I'd actually like to use the leg closest to the step to step up, and so you have a little more trouble functionally training those groin muscles. So this is what it will look like. I'll get a little bit wide, but keep weight over my foot that's on the step. I'll step up and drive across with my opposite leg. So it's just a step up, a drive across, pause for a second. But think of kind of pulling yourself up onto the step using this leg. This next one is a beauty. It's a glute ham raise um, using the stability ball. I just put this blue Airx pad here to cushion the mirror so that I don't accidentally break it. Um, but you don't need that. But it's a little bit tricky, and it's going to feel really awkward to start with. Just stick with it, it will get better. I'm basically wedging myself between my feet and my knees, or, or, or just above my knees, my thighs just above my knees, and I'm wedging myself in with the stability ball. If the stability ball is dusty, or the floor is really dusty, it's going to slide every time. So um, just be aware of that. When I come up, I don't come all the way up. I come to about here. Um, because again, the closer I get to vertical, the more chance I have of just popping straight down to the floor. So it's really two parts. The first part, I want to keep my torso in this position, but straighten out my knees. Then I'm going to round over, basically like a back extension. Then again, I'll straighten up first from my back and then pull myself up by bending my knees. And that's where my hamstrings will really kick in. So it's forward by straightening the legs rounding all the way over the ball, coming back up to neutral with my back, and then bending my knees. I could also just do it here, straightening and bending my knees. Some people find when they do the full movement that their back fatigues before their hamstrings, and then that's a problem. But that's a glute ham raise using the stability ball. For this next exercise, you need a bungee. Um, these are ones that have cuffs already attached to them. I order them from performbetter.com. But you can also just get regular tubing and tie it in a loop. That's fine. Sometimes it digs into your legs a bit, but if you pull up your socks, look real cool at the gym, uh, you'll be fine too. This is just a lateral hop. So we want you staying in an athletic position. You're going to hop side to side. Trying to get nice full pushes as you go side to side, so don't let it just be a shuffle step. Get distance and speed. And for this one, you're going to go 10 seconds on, as fast as far as you can. You'll rest for 10 seconds and repeat that. First time you do it, start a little easy because sometimes the bungee pulling on your feet kind of trips you up a little. As you know, I really love nasty finishers. This is your nasty finisher for this workout. 
It's called functional isometric. I'm trying to build some strength and even teach you to get a little bit of pop in your legs when they're dog tired. I'm not sure if it's physiological training or mental toughness training, but it works pretty well. So this is what you'll do. You'll start with five squat jumps as quick and as high as you can get each time. And then you're gonna squat and hold for five seconds. Perfect squat and hold. During that squat and hold, you're gonna squeeze muscles of your core, glutes, quads, hamstrings, everything, shoulder blades back, everything, squeeze, 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 until the five seconds is up. You'll go right back in, jump, jump, jump. When you're holding the squat, you can't put your hands on your knees or anything funny like that. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I'll show you from the side. We'll do Two, three, four, five. Okay, you get the idea. You'll do that five times and then you'll take a little rest. So that should give you a few ideas of a preseason max strength phase for lacrosse players. Um, as always, if you have any injuries or you're unsure of proper technique, then you should probably consult either with your sport medicine specialist or a certified strength and conditioning coach to help take you through it and make sure that it really is going to be right for you. Um, but otherwise, if you have any questions, you can email me anytime. Uh, I'll put the email and website at the end of this video. Um, and I hope you have safe and happy training. Train hard, you guys.